behind us is, is mainly wetlands. Um, a lot of a lot of animals, as Carl said, and a lot of uh, different species of plants and trees. And what's proposed is to clear cut a good portion of that to uh, develop four homes per acre and to put in several stormwater retention facilities and leave a little bit of wetlands, but they won't be contiguous. There'll be separate little spaces of wetlands, uh, which won't be enough for the animals that are back there now. All the wildlife that we've had in the area that has been run out from development has called this home for many years and they have no other place to go. And we would love for the county and the state to join hands and step in and try to preserve this land for what wildlife exists still in our neighborhoods. That's why a lot of people enjoy living here. That's why they bought here and they always believed that it would stay a preserve. I see deer on a daily basis, wild boar, bobcats, uh, coyote, uh, eagles, gopher tortoises, I mean a good number of species. Foxes. Foxes. Rattlesnakes. And rattlesnakes of course. <laughs> We've started a uh, two petitions actually, um, both hard copy and online. Uh, the first petition is for the county to purchase and preserve the property as a natural habitat. The second petition is to deny the rezoning. The developer has to have it rezoned in order to build multiple homes per acre and we would like it to remain zoned at least in the short term for one house per acre and then eventually be made into a preserve for the wildlife. The response has been very good. Uh, we have over 2,300 signatures on the petitions now and that's growing every day.